Hello, welcome by a new Julia tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can install Julia and how you can use it. Uh, when you uh, want to download Julia, you go to the Julia webpage, then you go to downloads, and then you choose your um, your um, um, your your version that you have to install. So uh, in my case, it is the 64-bit uh, uh, Windows version. I already downloaded it. And then you uh, going to install it. Inst the installation goes quite uh, quickly. Then it asks you to run Julia if you want to run Julia, if you want to open the installation direction, and if you want to open documentation. Let's do all that. Okay, this is the the, the um, installation direction. Well, if we uh, double uh, of a right click on uh, the hyperlink. So here's the, the file direction. So here Julia is installed and we are going to add this to the path of Windows. So path, then you see it added the system environment variables. You have to click yes, and then um, environment variables. And then you see here the path. And then you can add a new one. So, and that is useful because you can then uh, open Julia from the um, PowerShell of, or the command prompt by just typing Julia. Okay. Uh, that was that. And this is the documentation. It's very useful to learn Julia, the manual. It's very useful to go through that. Uh, it's a bit of work, but then uh, you, you will learn a lot about Julia. So we have installed Julia. Well, you can use Julia as a calculator for more complex uh, calculations like two to the power five. And uh, you can, for instance, use it to generate random uh, matrix. So if you do ran two, three, you get a two by three matrix. And if you now type type of X, we get that it's an array of uh, fl uh, floats with uh, and two dimensional. And um, uh, we can also do a, a, a hyper matrix. Now you get a, as if you get a block of two by three by three uh, uh, with, with all with numbers. Well, a, a number can be in a an uh, integer, so if you do type of the last uh, uh, the last uh, value, so you can get that with uh, ends. You see, it's an uh, an integer, and if you do one point zero, and I do now type of ends, it's a float. Uh, you can uh, add packages if you go to the Package REPL that you do uh, with typing in a square bracket. So if we do that without the space in between, we get to the package REPL. And we now type add distributions. And for a tutorial, we also need the plots package. Then uh, Julia is going to install uh, this. Well, if you do this, then it will take more time, but I already did it before so that uh, the, it wouldn't take too much time for the tutorial, but in your case, it might take a longer time. 
You can also uh, update your packages all together um, with, uh, in the package repo by just typing update. And you see uh, there are no updates now, no changes. Now, if you take, uh, type backslash, we are going back. And um, if you want uh, to use the packages that we just installed, we type using distributions and plots. And that will load uh, the packages in the namespace. We have to wait a little bit because uh, PDA has to pre-compile the packages. And also the first time I already used them, but if you use them the first time, it can take quite a while before, um, before, um, yeah, before it is ready with, with uh, executing this line. So uh, let's define a distribution, the normal distribution. Now we get uh, a normal this, uh, object with uh, mean zero and uh, variance uh, one. And if I type type of D, it tells you that it is uh, the normal distribution. Um, so every object in Julia has a type. And if we... Um, want to know more about um, uh, distributions or about the normal distribution, you just type normal and Julia will come with uh, documentation about the normal distribution. And it's very useful for, um, for understanding um, a package and learning Julia. So then you have to type and uh, uh, and and, and uh, question mark and uh, without um, space in between, of course. And then you, so if I do that, oh, um, sorry, if you just do that, then you get in the help environment and you can type something you want to know something about. So if you want to know something about integers, uh, it gives me uh, documentation about integers. And here the smaller than with uh, double points means uh, int is a type, int 64 is a type of signs. And int is an, is an alias of int 64. And if you want to go back, so if you are in the help environment, if you type slash of a backslash, then you are going back. Okay, so uh, a function in the distributions packets is um, is the oh, is PDF d comma one point zero for instance. And if I uh, then it gives you the, the probability law uh, of the probability distribution function in a point 1.0. So if we define fx is oh, uh, pdf d comma x, this is one way to define a function. And I can also plot f just like this. And it shows you the, the um, distribution function of the normal, standard normal distribution.
So if you want to save this to, uh, to for instance, the desktop uh, map, so we, we press um, dot comma without the space in between. Then we go to the shell REPL. And if you type CD, you go to the home folder. If we type dot comma again, uh, and we type um, desktop uh, CD desktop, we come in the desktop uh, map. By the way, if you are in the shell um, uh, pack REPL, and if you press backslash, you are coming back uh, in a normal environment. Now, if you want to save the figure, we type save, save fig, and then uh, a name, for instance, uh, normal distribution .png. And then uh, if you uh, check, check it out, here you see uh, Julia saved the picture for us. Okay, this was it for today. Um, you can exit, of course, by clicking the this button, but you can also type exit, uh, open uh, brackets, close brackets, and then Julia is closed. Thank you so much for your attention and um, try to install Julia and play with it and uh, do the ins instructions uh, on Julia itself. Bye.